Fox NASCAR is in Hampton, Georgia, the Atlanta Motor Speedway, playing host to the NASCAR Xfinity Series today. It's round number eight of 2020. Yeah, there are a few clouds, but the weather is great. Hot, the track is slick, and that means the drivers are going to earn their money today. On behalf of all of our Echo Park Automotive teammates across the country, we are very proud to be sponsoring the Echo Park Automotive 250 at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And now, drivers, start your engines. All right, eventually, eventually, we'll fire the <laughs> engines and we will go racing. I promise the green flag after Awkward. the break on Fox. <laughs> All Junior Motorsports up front. Gregson, as we said on the pole, outside of him, Daniel Hemrick, 163 laps in Atlanta. Let's listen to the nine team as we go green. You see it right there already, a big, big jump. One back, top. Certainly what, do you, what you want to hear there out of the spotter, all clear, all clear. Yeah, the best part about this track is you see the 22 car, they're making it three wide. You can go all the way to the top, and if you get some cleaner on the nose, there's plenty of grip up there. Look at the run that he has down the back stretch. You got to be careful, though, when you get into turn three. For some reason, the old grip level. There's the seam. You got them left sides on that seam we saw, and the car is slipping and sliding around. Oh, by the way, no practice, nothing. Haven't been on a racetrack. You got to sail that baby off in there and be pretty Hope confident it it's going to yeah. stick, right? What are the chances we get to lap 20, the competition caution? without a, a caution created on track early because this place is treacherous. He's, whoa! I'm going to tell you what, Austin Sindrick is really good on the short run, but we got to pay attention to this, guys, to see is he's a short run car and it falls off too much, uh, you know, on the longer run. And slipping and sliding around like that certainly will pay the price in the end. But again, only 20 laps to get to this competition caution, and we all know that clean air that he's searching for right now and about to get is very, very important to that grip level, too. But he's running down his teammate right now and, and is going to be the best junior motorsports car right now. So I think they can probably fine tune on that and get it where they need it to be. Problems. Definitely not where you want to be. That's Tommy Joe Martins in the 44. And we get our first caution of the day. This comes out as we're working lap 17. The competition caution was at lap 20. This could very well become be the competition think, yeah, caution, yeah. right? Definitely yeah. some damage on the front of his car. Didn't, I don't think it's going to be cast drive, but that splitter damage on the bottom. You can see it's bent down on the left front. That's going to be a problem. Feels like it's burning the right he, rear. He's off saying of exactly it. what we've been yeah, saying. It's exactly loose, right? right. Like he, it's too loose, and that's what everybody's fighting with today. Um, but I'm watching his lap times, and he's not that far off. If they can get in there, it's a little easier to tighten your car up here than it is to make it turn better. Because when you're tight and you ask him to free it up, it typically never turns better, and you're just you're just looser. Everybody so, explains that a little bit different too. You know, going back to what I said, like a dinner plate on a you know an eight pin ball. That's what you feel. It's oversprung. The only thing I'm feeling is that right rear spring. Somehow, some way, your adjustment has to help me with that balance where that's not the only thing I'm feeling. And there's one thing about it. His crew chief is saying, well, Justin, there's not anything I can do about that. <laughs> We're going to have to work with what we have today. What, what do tires It's not acceptable, mean? Jamie. I need an ant. I need some help here. <laughs> Swatting flies out here. Hey, what, what do tires mean? Cindric restarted 21st, and his lead is nine seconds on the final lap of the stage. He got on the apron there. It looked to me like. Jamie Little said it earlier. Team Penske has never won in the Xfinity Series at Atlanta. That, that to me, is one of the most mind-boggling stats, although they finished second in, like, four of the last six races here. I'm so saying we, it right now. Yeah, know they have speed. Yeah. Yet. Maybe today is the day. Stage one, first stage win of the year, goes to Austin Sendrick. The rest of the top five, Ross Chastain, Justin Haley, Justin Allgaier, and Daniel Hemrick. Side-by-side -side breaks are a great thing. While we were away, you saw the third caution of the day come out at Atlanta, courtesy of the rookie, Riley Herbst. Here's what happened. Man, at first glance, I thought the nine would be the one spinning out. Just got too far out from underneath of him. Again, you're walking that thing around the corner on the throttle, driving the thing with the throttle with the grip, and there it come out from underneath of him. Got in the wall a little bit in contact. You don't drive it like a Kansas Speedway on a repave right. where you just got a handful of wheel and you feel the whole car. You really drive it with your, your hands in the steering wheel. Here, you're driving that thing. As you heard him right Did you hear there. him working the throttle on that, there? Baby. Yeah. Driving it with the throttle. Pedal. You know, he could see he had a run on Mike Lynette. He's wanting to give it more oh, gas, yeah. but he just wasn't able to. 
Haley, another dirt racer. And there's going to be one to go on the stage. Keep in mind, a lot of stage points on the line here. Love listening to those cars slip and slide around. You, know, you were talking about Briscoe saying how much he loves Atlanta. He told me his second favorite track, or maybe one, two, is, is Miami and Atlanta. Two races in South Florida next weekend, so he could really be in a position to gain some momentum. And his crew chief is Richard Boswell, who won this race with Kevin Harvick a couple of years ago. You know, Clint, I, I, guys, I just always feel like the, the dirt guys or the sprint car guys, they love the slick racetracks. Kyle Larson at, uh, at Homestead, you think about how good he is there. Oh, yeah. uh, Briscoe like him coming here. I just feel like it, it kind of plays into their hands. It definitely does. I mean, it's a grip level. You're accustomed to, to having that thing hung out sideways, loose, driving a thing with the throttle. I can't say that enough. It's just a different way of doing it. You know, you get on a repave or a track like that, you got to have a whole different set of mechanics. Get out the broom. Austin Sendrick wins stage one and stage two, his first two stage victories of the year. Man, he, he really has been able to make some momentum uh, on the top one, too. And it's working for him because everybody's running the bottom, so he's able to get that clean air. It's so weird to me when you think about Atlanta. You know, it's not uncommon to see cars moving around. Ooh, now we got a spinner. And it's Josh Williams hanging on to it. <laughs> he drove David. it all the way around there. And well, the caution is out. Fifth one of the day. You see the cow flaps really did their job in the hood there, but going to have to get them. His tires are not cool. No, be assured of that. not cool. Running 22nd at the time, driving that 92 Chevrolet for Mario Bowser. He got some he help. Got hooked. Yeah, yeah, that's Joe Graff behind him in the 08. Man, big tank swap right there. That'll scare you, too. You know it's coming. You're thinking, oh, here he comes, here he comes. Boom! I hate that for Josh Williams, who was coming off a top 10 finish at Bristol, his second top 10 run of the season. Oh, now, I got to know. exactly what you saw right there. The seven car drove it in, tried to put some pressure on him, and then him himself missed his line and pushed up. Now he's got to start all over again. As a professional race car driver, oh, oh. got a spinner. And this is not the caution that the 22 no. team wanted to see. 39 to go, right in the wheelhouse of come down and take your final set of tires if you've got them, right? Caution comes out early, pits right there, and it's probably the thing that's going to cost them the most all day long. 78 is Vinnie Miller. It's our sixth caution of the day coming off a of turn two. Vinnie, who had an unbelievable run going at Bristol on Monday, showing some speed, driving for B.J. McLeod. I'm with you, Clint. I think the best part of this is that is that AJ's having fun with this team. And you said it, Chris Rice, such a fun guy to be around, always so positive, and that's such a big deal. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. We've seen it, you know, with, with practicing, pit stops, pit road, mistakes are always, you have to minimize those if you're going to have success and win these races. And today was certainly a big, big there it is, white flag waving, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Just bring it home, baby. Nothing in your windshield. He's gone in the back. Only Do not push it. One start this year came at Bristol on Monday night. Battled through adversity and finished 10th. He came to play today. It's his fourth career victory, but his first on an oval. A.J. Allmendinger driving for colleague wins it at Atlanta Motor Speedway. This will be a fun, fun interview. <laughs> Listen to him. That's awesome. That's cool. I'd like to see him full time. Noah Gregson finishes second. The best in the dash for cash. He gets $100,000 courtesy of Xfinity. And there you saw the congratulatory tap from teammate Justin Haley, who finishes third in the 11 today. It'll be Almondinger, uh, Gregson, Haley, and Hemrick who are eligible for the dash for cash next Sunday at the Homestead Miami Speedway. We don't have confirmation on the schedule for the 16. Next scheduled for him is Talladega. We'll have to wait and see what their plans are to determine the four drivers going for the cash. Houston. This will be fun to watch. AJ's going to be so excited. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I won on an oval. You like that? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> love you, baby. <laughs> love you, Mom and Dad. Matt Colick, I really love you. Yes! yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Take it over, Jamie Little. Oh, AJ Allmendinger, we've seen him for many years as a full-time cup driver. Now he's back, just a part-timer. AJ, your first time racing in this series at Atlanta, and you win on an oval. How did you do it this time? Oh, uh, call it racing. Uh, I mean, Matt Collig, I love you, man. Chris Rice, these cars were awesome. I was just trying to figure out, I mean, it's Atlanta, so you're trying to figure out how much tire to use early. The car was awesome on long runs. I was better than the driver early too, especially. But um, once I got in the lead, just trying to hit my marks, which is uh, which is hard to do. But can't thank everybody at Colleg Racing. Uh, leaf filter gutter protection. Uh, just everybody that's associated with this team. Colleg companies. We got C2 Freight uh, resources on the car. We funny story because we didn't make the race, and Ross didn't make the race. We traded it out at Daytona, so to have them on the car. Oh my goodness gracious, uh, I'm sure I'm missing more. Everybody, uh, Xfinity for putting this great series on, NASCAR for allowing us to uh, to go out there and do this. So, yeah, Ellsworth Advisors, they were on the car last week. I thought we had a chance to win Bristol, so Ellsworth Advisors, everybody. And I know you said hello to your family. Congratulations, AJ Allmendinger comes from the back oh. to win it on an oval, finally. Adam. Thank you, ECR, Chevrolet, everybody. Give me the opportunity, Collig Racing. Matt Collig, you're the man. Let's party. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.